Good morning, guys, and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Bit of Berserker. I hope you are well. I really do. With all this madness that's going on at the moment with Corona, COVID stuff, we're all on lockdown. The walls are beginning to feel like they are closing in very, very slightly. It's surprising how many times you can go around the house to clean up, tidy up, redo it again, and re-feng shui and everything like that. It's it's good fun. Um, trying to make the best of a, out of a crap situation and but I really hope you guys are doing okay and well wherever you are in the world and staying safe and I'm back with another review before I get started I know I say this each and every single time but I actually really mean it thank you so so much to each and every single one of you guys out there that's watching my videos liking my videos commenting on them because I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made and the whole reason that I set up my Instagram, I'm over that way somewhere, as Viking Beard Matt and my Beard of Berserker YouTube channel is to try my hardest to help promote, support, advertise small brands, individuals and craftsmen only that are making some amazing products, whatever it might be. Um, I don't mind because... The reason that I set up and done this is I'm kind of tired of factory made stuff. You know, it's just churned out. It's got no soul. It's got no heart. It's got no passion behind it. Whereas crafts, craftsmanship and craftsmen are a dying art. Whatever they're crafting and making is a skill set that they have. And more often than not, they've given up full time work in order to sort of like follow their passion life which is absolutely amazing and we need to keep these people going and although I do reviews on my channel and um, because let's face it we're all on limited money especially nowadays we've been locked down and everything the wife's off as well that there's nothing worse than going out and spending our hard-earned cash on stuff that you get through in the post or you go out and buy it and it just doesn't live up to expectations, quality's bad on it, bad craftsmanship or whatever. So I review the products as well. And I really, really want to keep this channel going, you know. Um, I've now coming up to 600 subscribers and 36,000 views, which is not bad considering I'm just an old git sat in front of his iPad, uploading videos to YouTube, and I'm trying my hardest. So if there is anybody out there whatsoever that needs any help, support, please get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. If you are expecting flashy graphics popping up here, there, and everywhere, and intros and outros, you're not going to get it here because it's just an old fool with his iPad. Now, all the reviews that I do are completely honest. Everything I do is my own opinion, and I'm completely unbiased. So if there's a reason why I like a product, I will say why I like it constructively. If there's a reason why I don't like a product, then I will say equally constructively why I do not like it. So all of my reviews, completely honest, completely unbiased, and in my own opinion. And it's so nice to get back into doing the reviews. I've had one arrive this morning and one arrive a couple of days. And I always like to leave it a couple of days before I do a review so I can test the product, try the product, see what the product's actually like and get to know it as opposed to just doing an unboxing video and going, eh, yeah, it kind of looks all right and then it falls apart. So I need my glasses for this and they're actually clean this morning and I need a glug of coffee because believe it or not, it is quarter past nine in the morning. Uh, my watch is broken uh, because the twizzly bit that changes the clock forward and backward has somehow disappeared and I have no idea where it is so I'm still on winter time which is fine with me as opposed to summer time and today's review has been extremely kindly sent through to me from Sindre Knives or Cinder Knives Sindre Cinder I would assume it's Cinder and Basically, he makes skin dues and also kitchen knives as well. Based up in Scotland, in Full Kirk, um, links are going to be down below in that, the description box. So please give him some help, some support, and a follow. 
And here's then something through for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. So, as you probably know, I wear kilts. Um, I've got Scottish ancestry, or ancestors even. Um, so is the wife as well, got her own tartan. The wife, she's got her own family tartan and everything. So I wear a lot of kilts. Although I don't have my own um, family, ancestor, clan kilt tartan because it's horrid. Um, it, my tartan does look like somebody sat there and had a good old drinking session and sort of sat there and thought, what's the worst tartan that we can ever design? And it's horrible. It's literally like a Technicolor tartan. Um, as you'll probably know, um, I have, we, my wife and I, we recently did renew our wedding vows and I was, I've got photos all over the place, um, but I was in the whole kilt and uh, argyle jacket and everything else like that. I'm not one of these what I would call new kilt wearers. I love the whole traditional thing, you know, three finger widths or two finger widths underneath the kneecap for your hose, your flashes have to be on a certain way, the kilt belt, the spar and everything measuring up. I love the traditional thing and all the little tiny intricacies with kilt wearing as opposed to sling on a kilt a pair of boots and go out I love that whole traditional Scottish Highlands thing with kilts and tartans the history behind it and basically what Sindra Sindre knives create handcrafted knives and skin do's black knives hidden knives whatever you want to call it this has been very kindly sent through by Mr Mads uh, Arnest A H. R E N A H R E N S T Arnst. Um, but I say there's the card. Here's very kindly created and made a skin do for me to have a look at and see what I think of and give you guys my opinion. So packaging wise, this came with no plastic whatsoever. It was wrapped in um, thick paper sheeting. Um, came in a brown. Uh, envelope, cardboard box, recyclable box, which is nice to see, no plastics involved. And with kilt wearing, I don't know what I was on about then, um, but with um, kilt wearing and everything, I love the tiniest of details with it. Everything's, for me, when I wear a kilt, has to look right, has to look spot on, you know. If there's one glaring thing, it kind of lets the whole outfit down. And he has created and made a skin do, uh, which either goes down right sock, left sock. I'll leave that up for you to decide because people, there's always some kind of controversy when it comes to which side to wear a skin do on. And um, because originally it used to be sort of like under the armpit carried there. Then it was um, when you go to somebody's house, you have it in your left sock if you're right handed. And if you have it in your right sock when you're left-handed so you can't get to it and some people say it should be in your right sock if you're right-handed left so we're not going to go into really the traditions of it but this is what he has created now he does loads and loads of different sorts of skin do's and uh, handles different words regular words um exotic words also has made the leather sheath for it to go in and he has sent me a letter. Um, <coughs> Hi Matt, thank you for agreeing to review my skin do. I hope you enjoyed the end result. Specifications, blade is 3.5 inches, which is fine. It's all, the blade is also made out of 80 plus a layer Damascus. Handle is made out of curly birch from Finland in, and the other bits are mahogany. And we'll go into the rest of it in a second, which is the prices. And so this is the beauty that is. I love the design of the curly birch. It almost looks like a sunburst. And if you look at a lot of my photos, one of the effects that I use is kind of like sunbursts, depending on where I'm looking and everything coming up from the bottom. And I, I actually really, really like that because it just reminds me of that. Um, it is a functional knife as well. It's not just a decorative piece because I had, 
I have had it in the past. Um, I'm not going to talk about um, the scheme do that I actually have got that I wear uh, when I do go out because one of the ones that I do have is, is antler head um, with a crown bit on the top of it. And people go, well, it's not real. And if you go on eBay and places like that, a lot of the skin do's are kind of like now the fake ones that they've got a fake blade on there. And there's nothing worse than when you go out, which I normally do, wearing a kilt and stuff, and people go, oh, let's have a look at your skin do. And they go, you pull it out, you show it to them, and they go, well, it's not a real blade. I think if you're doing something properly, you need to go 100% in and do it 100% properly because skin do is technically a knife, hidden knife, black knife, whatever you want to call it. And so I like a knife to actually be a knife. And this is, <coughs> excuse me, that's not coronavirus, that is because of smoke. Um, so this is made up of 80 layer plus Damascus steel, which you can see, and it actually has an edge to it. It is a sharp blade. Um, there you go. It's a sharp blade and it cuts. It is regular skin do sort of size. Um, nice effect on the actual blade as well. You can see all the layers of Damascus where a steel is folded and folded and folded and folded and folded, uh, which gives you the sort of uh, coloration to it or the patination, whichever. And there's loads of different styles of Damascus blades. Um, and first thing I done was I went out, stabbed a few bits, not people as such, um, because no one's coming to the door because it's everyone's in quarantine. Um, but I, w I want something that works, you know. I, I whether it's cutting open a haggis on Burns night or something else like that. I don't want something that looks real but is actually fake that hasn't got a dull blade. Both sides you can see are fully sharpened. There you have it. So the actual blade itself, I would assume, goes somewhere down into here. It after stabbing things and cutting things, the blade is secure in there, which is always nice to see. There's nothing worse than a wobbly blade and uh, because it is something that you should be able to use. <coughs> now he does regular, excuse me, I've got a tickle on the back of the throat at the moment. Mm -mm -mm. Now he does different sorts of blades. He does like a modern one, which has got um, a bottle opener on the back of it, which is fine for some people. He does regular blade ones or the sort of top of the range Damascus steel ones. I love the mahogany and I like the uh, curly birch on there as well. I love that whole sort of sunburst, starburst thing. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, big enough for my hands, not too small, not too big. Nice, thick, decent leather sheath that it comes with. Uh, you can get a choice of brown or black. And everything with this, including the chef's knives as well. I'm going to cough again. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything, including the chef's knives as well, they are fully kind of customizable. You tell them what you kind of want and or you tell him what you want and he will make it accordingly. And I love the fact that he's got his little workshop at the back that is out there. Unfortunately, bless him. I had a message yesterday that his vice had broken and he's in the middle of a project. And <clears throat> that his vice is knackered. So I do wish him a quick um, get a new vice because I love seeing what people create even once the reviews are done on this channel I kind of follow people see what they're doing see what they're creating and kind of see my impact within what they're doing as more people more sales and stuff like that it's absolutely beautiful there is no jaggedy ragged parts on it whatsoever it's all been sanded down and varnished nicely um, this uh, normally the price structure is as follows premium handmade skin do 50 quid which is actually cheap because I've seen them online um, from kind of factory made places for a lot lot more than this the exotic wood upgrade is 10 pounds on top of the premium handmade skin do 
Leather sheath, six pounds, choice of brown and black. I went for the brown because of the mahogany in there. Plus, a, I wouldn't say I'm a huge, massive fan of these really bright tartans, so I like the more muted stuff, the weathered tartans. Um, I've got a black watch kilt. I've got a couple of hybrid kilts. I've also got a brown watch kilt, and I've also got uh, two weathered tartan kilts as well. Um, the leather sheath, six pounds which you need because if you've got this down your hose sock whichever you want to call it last thing you want is a blade stuck next to your skin so i would advise definitely having a leather sheath made up for it uh, the gift box as well whether you want one or not is two pound because these are really quite cool because there are a lot of especially in 2019 there were so many highland themed weddings and events and stuff like that and um, the bride, uh, brides were buying groom skin do's and grooms were buying sort of best man skin do's and stuff like that. And it's, they are a really nice thing and it's nice to sort of hand down from generation to generation to generation. In addition, I make other knives, but mainly Japanese style chef knives. I am not Japanese. I used to be a chef, believe it or not. And I did do a review for Colin or Kulina knives from the US a while ago. Still got all my fingers, so that's lucky, but that was a sharp thing. And this, to me, is art, it's functional, it's traditional. It's made up in Scotland as opposed to made somewhere else. The craftsmanship on it is absolutely stunning. Um, I have tried it. I've used it. I, I wouldn't say I've tried it to destruction, but I want... If somebody produces something that says it does this, then I want it to do that. And price-wise, it's ridiculously cheap. I mean, if you think 50 quid for the standard premium handmade... Um, if you want the exotic wood, which you don't have to because there's loads of different woods to choose from, you're looking at a tenner. The leather sheath, six quid. Uh, the gift box, two pounds, so it's 50, 60, 66 quid. And I've seen them online. No disrespects to a lot of, from two, no disrespect to Highlands shops. But I've seen them and they are ridiculously expensive. The same as kilts. You know, people tend to buy them. I know you've got cheaper alternatives and stuff like that. But this is just quality. The knife itself, I'm going to keep on about it because I really care about what I'm doing here. But everything's centred. The blade isn't wonky. The blade is straight. It's just a really, really well-made piece. And for the price of it, it's absolutely stunning. You can have stuff carved into the handles if you want to. Um, basically, your imagination is your um, limit. But it's absolutely beautiful. And one thing I did wonder about, because I put my kilt on the other day and took some photos with it, is how well, because it's quite a shiny handle, how well it's going to stay down in the hose because usually you've got the garter or the flashes which kind of helps to lock everything in place. Um, I have heard people that will put a bit of Velcro on here, the male side, which will then grip to kind of like your sock to hold it in place because when you do wear a skin do, you kind of only have around about two, maybe three inches depending on the length of the handle sticking out from your hose or sock, whichever you want to call it. And I was concerned about if you go out and you spend a lot of money on a skin do to go in either your left or right hand hose, um, is it going to fall out? Are you going to lose it? Is it going to drop down into where your gilly brogues are? This didn't. So I didn't have to worry about it popping out, sliding out, dropping down inside the hose. Because it is a nicely carved, very, very smooth handle on it. So I don't have to worry about glue, uh, gluing or taping a bit of double-sided uh, Velcro to it. And it is beautiful. And when it comes, because I'm, I'm going to start scoring everything now, 20 out of 20, 20 being absolutely fantastic, 10 being mediocre, nothing to write home about. And 
zero being don't touch it with a stinky sporran. Um, I'm gonna rate this as a 20 out of 20 because it's beautiful. The customer service with Mads has been absolutely spot on and bless him, he's been so worried about the review today. And I've said to him, like when I do approach small brands, individuals and craftsmen, when I send them messages, that the review is going to be um, honest. Because there's no point in me doing this if I'm just sitting here blowing smoke rings up a brand's backsides. So if there's something I don't like about it, then I will say. Um, as far as negatives, I can't see anything at all with it. Like I say, it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And if you are planning a wedding, ceremony, gathering, and you're looking for the ultimate gift for either yourself or somebody to buy you, then please get in touch with Sindre or Cinder. Cinder? Sindre? There's no apostrophe, so it must be Cinder Knives. Um, thank you so, so much to Mads for sending this through. It is absolutely a stunning piece, and believe it or not, I'm actually going to save up and buy myself another skin do because I do wear kilts all the time and you don't want to be wearing the same skin do all over and over and over again. So just, I'm going to go, I'm going to save this for special occasions because I do wear a kilt a lot of the time of the year. Um, so I just want to go out and I'm going to buy myself a basic one that I can wear all the time and not worry about losing because this is stunning. Thank you so, so much. Links will be down below for Cinder Nice, so please give them some support, a help, and a follow. Thank you to Mads. Customer service, absolutely spot on. Your skin dues, I don't know about your Japanese-style kit, the chef's knives, absolutely spot on. Thank you so, so much. Love the fact you're not using package, uh, plastic packaging when you send it out. I'm gonna have a look on eBay to see if I can find myself a watch to replace this knackered old piece of cake. And thank you so, so much. So if you do need any help, support or anything, please get in touch with me. I would love to hear from you guys. Please keep on taking, so, uh, please keep on being safe wherever you are in the world, taking care of each other, helping and supporting each other. I look forward to the time that this um, lockdown is removed and we can yet once again go out and do stuff because it's surprising what you miss when it's taken away from you. But thank you to everyone out there. I love each and every single one of you. Have a great day. Enjoy your tidying up and doing your workouts in your living room and games consoles and stuff like that. Love to hear from you if you need a hand. Thank you guys so much. Take care and thank you so much to Cinder Nice and Mads. Thank you.